Good afternoon to everybody. Let us begin this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered around this altar to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And today, we celebrate the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Third Virgin Mary. Let us offer ourselves in the hands of God and let us together say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on peace to We pray you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take over the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take over the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Be the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth. Grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord, the King of Israel, is among you. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you and turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Saviour. The Lord will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. The Lord will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 
a reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my saviour. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my saviour. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. Please stand for the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for firmly believing that the promises of the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of the Lord should come to me? For at the moment, the sound of your greeting reached out my ears. The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For the Lord has looked Upon his handmaid, handmaid's loneliness, behold, from now on 
will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Lord's mercy is from age to age, and to those who fear Him. The Lord has shown mighty might with His arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. The Lord has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, and, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. The Lord has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of Visitation of our Blessed Mary. As we know, Jesus was born to Mary, and the mystery of the Incarnation comes to those people who live ordinary life, who have the willingness to respond to God's call, and the openness and generosity to do God's will. In today's Gospel, Luke tells about how two simple women met to celebrate the kindness and fidelity of God. If you see in the Old Testament or in the Gospel, we find a prophet or a disciple is defined by the one who listened to God's word and then carry it out. Mary did both to become the most perfect disciple. And this incident shows how sensitive Mary was to the needs of her cousin Elizabeth, who had miraculously become pregnant in her old age. What we learn from this reading or from this feast, we should recognize the real presence of Emmanuel, that is, God is with us, and say yes to him. The visitation of Mar Mary reminds us that through his holy ministry, Christ continues to be present among his people. Let us acknowledge and recognize the truth that the same Christ dwells among us in the Bible, in the sacraments, in the praying community, in our soul, and also in our lives. We should also convey Jesus to others as Mary did to Elizabeth. And also we know the three shepherds also conveyed the message which was given to these three children. She convey, they conveyed the message to others. We can make a real difference in the lives of others today by carrying Jesus to them. For that, we must be filled with the Spirit of Christ, allowing his rebirth within us. Then Jesus will enable us to share his love with all whom we encounter, offering them humble and committed service, unconditional forgiveness, compassionate and caring service. My dear brothers and sisters, as Mother Mary 
carry Jesus to others. We are here in front or in the place of Mother Mary. And when we go our home, let us carry the message of Jesus. Let us carry whatever we got here in this sacred place and share it to our neighbors, to our brothers and sisters, as Mother Mary shared her joy to her cousin Elizabeth. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majest majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift them, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's end you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time 
he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of a resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. My dear brothers and sisters, God has, or Jesus has taught us, our Father, the precious prayer. Let us extend our hands and offer or say this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Forgive those who trespass against us, and it is not temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take over the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O Lord, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist leaped with joy, when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in the sacrament the same ever-living Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.